It was incredible. I mean, I've, I've dreamed of it every night since Saturday, and it's, it came true tonight. So you had a pretty good feeling coming into this one? You weren't too nervous? <laughs> I, I was confident. <laughs> It was incredible. I mean, the team team looked to me to, you know, do something. I ended up putting it in the back of the net, and it was it was a great spark for our team. Now, um, is it a little extra sweet when you came against World? You know, they've been a bully out here for so long. Is there something special about that too? Absolutely. It's always fun to beat our rivals, especially at home in front of this amazing crowd. Did you expect this to be as uh, low scoring as it, as it turned out to be? I knew it was going to be a dog fight, and you know that's what it was. It was a one nothing game, pretty much, you know. You guys, I know I talked to you a while back about this too, but defensively, you guys have been very strong this year. It's been a little bit of a surprise here. You had a young defensive core. You thought maybe it wouldn't, it wouldn't gel as well as it has. It's kind of been the reason for that and continuing it forward like this. Our motto is tenacious D, and we work on it every day in practice, and it showed on the ice tonight. You get a little help from the uh, forwards too. You guys back check a little extra. I mean, is there, it looks like it's a real team effort. Absolutely. I mean, we played our hearts, our hearts out tonight, and it showed, you know. Now, uh, you hear from any uh, other players, you know, maybe your brother, people like that. Have you heard from some of those guys getting into this, you know, wishing you luck and stuff? Oh, absolutely. The whole town was behind us. I've had, you know, a lot of texts, a lot of calls, and everybody was supporting us. Everybody was confident? I don't know. If, I don't know. But <laughs> you wouldn't go that far? I wouldn't go that far. Uh, now, getting down to St. Paul, what do you do now? I mean, you made the jump. Is there... How do you refocus for, uh, for St. Paul now? We go, down, we go down there and play our same game. Get out, get pucks out, get pucks deep, grind, grind down low, win for races and battles. Oh, it's unreal. It's unreal. It was the most exciting day of my life right now, you know. It's crazy. Being a sophomore, going to state. Did you hear from your brother or anybody like that past guys wishing you luck? Yeah, my brother told me good luck, and I uh, told me to play through my battle wounds and everything. and. Just told me to keep going, and he motivated me all the way through. So, big thanks to him. Yeah, I'm a little beat up, so it was a lot of fun. Extra sweet coming against Warroad, you know, knowing the past history. What? Against Warroad, is it extra sweet coming against those guys? Oh, yeah, it's sweet. That's a big rivalry, and, you know, we always have close games with them. You know, they're a great hockey team, hands down to them. That was a great game. Hard fought battle. What did that feel like when that final buzzer went off? Oh, holy crap. That was the most unreal feeling of my life. It was crazy. Uh, we, were, we were confident. We had to be confident. And, you know, coming into the game, we knew they were going to be a great team. And we just had to be confident all the way through. And we got it done. So. How about defensively? Tell me about that. Shutting these guys out. You had 10 or 11 shots yeah. as a team. How did the defense come and you know, gel so quickly? You know, we got a good core of defense right now. And uh, we all fight together. And we're all... We're all out here to win, and we're all out here to play for each other. We're brothers out there on the ice, and we just come together and practice. Practice, we're enemies out on the ice in the games. We're best friends, brothers. Different styles, you guys, too. You know, Eddie's a, he's a big guy. Yeah. tough to get around. You're a lot quicker, smaller. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a, it's just a good mix. Obviously. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Eddie, he's a freaking, he's a big shutdown defenseman, and can't get around him. He's a big guy, big and strong, and I love him to death. And, you got me, Pooley, and Taylor. We're a little bit more off offensive, and it's just crazy. I love the guys. You know, Coach admitted to me a couple weeks back. He said, "I didn't know that these guys were going to be as good as they were this quickly." Did you? Were you confident coming into the year that you know we're young defensively, but you know, we know what we're up against? Oh yeah, we knew what we were up against, and we're a young core right now, and we just had a fight, and we had to keep going, and we knew that we knew we could do, get it the job done. So. Yeah, we get back to practice and, you know, work hard, <laughs> just get the job done and go down there and have a hopefully a good run. It's pretty surreal. We, beginning of the year, last, last summer is when we, we started buckling down and working for it and it's just surreal. Yeah, it had to be a good feeling when you buried that empty netter and you realized, hey, that's it. Yeah. You're not going to get us now. Yeah, it was, I can't even, I'm speechless about it. Just it up. Yeah. Were you confident coming into this one? I mean, did you guys think we can do this, or was, would you have a little bit of nerves coming in, thinking, no, not not war, not again? Yeah, we were we were relaxed. We're confident and relaxed, and we just we're confident with it.
were you surprised that you shut him out? I mean, were you surprised that defensively you continue to play as well as you guys have all year? Uh, well, that's been one of our goals is just stay uh, defense, uh, defensive zone strong, and it's as we keep going. We'll see more of that in St. Paul. Is that, is that, is yeah, hopefully. No, no style changes at this point. Huh? Yeah. How do you refocus? I mean, you, um, you got to be on a really high high. Now you got yeah. to think, okay, I got a couple of days, and then we'll, you know, we'll start settling into St. Paul. Yeah, our coaches will, will get us back down. We'll have a good work day tomorrow and good work day Saturday, and then next week it'll be here we go. We got to win that first game. He'll give you the night to celebrate, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, extra sweep coming against War Road, too. You know, yeah. Having to knock those guys off to get down there, that adds a little something to it. Yeah, they're, they're one of our big rivals, so it's, it's always good when we uh, get to beat them for something. Sigh of relief when Tommy buried that slap shot on the power play, thinking, okay, we got one on him now. We're, yeah. We're sitting pretty. Yeah, he's been working on that in practice, so when it went in, we all kind of just hit that boy Tommy. Oh, it's, I love it. <laughs> I mean, these guys, like I've said before, are just amazing at what they do. Um, I mean, zero goals, I'll, I'll live with that, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, this is a great moment for all of us. What was that like when you're, you're in that, you know, Golden Berries, that empty netter, and you're thinking, 2 nothing, 25 seconds, this is it, we're going to do it. Yeah, I was thinking that, but the first thing that thought came to my mind was uh, too many men. But uh, that's just my ref side coming at me. But uh, I saw it going, and I'm like, wow, it's, it's really going to come true. Pretty confident coming into this game, or were there some nerves thinking, boy, can't come this far and fall on one step shot again. Yeah, I've, I've had nerves since after the Crookston game, and it just got worse throughout the day. This today went so slow, it was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Make it a short celebration, get back to work tomorrow, harder than ever, um, and then just pretend like it's another game. That's on. That's changed now too, I suppose, right? Yeah. Goal was to get there. Now, now you change it right up. Yep. Yep. We're all we're just thinking about that first period, and after that first period, then we'll think about the next period, so on and so forth. But yeah, that first period, that's what we're looking forward to. That's what we're preparing for. I'm guessing it's been a little over a decade since the town was, since the program was last down in the town will be, I see, a, I see a lot of green down in St. Paul next week. I really hope, I really hope so. These, the, the crowd we had was just overpowering. You could just feel it. And uh, I just loved it. We fed off of that. Um, we made some mistakes, but we, we, uh, we recovered. But, uh, but yeah, the fans, I hope they can make the journey with us. Yeah, it feels good. You know, sometimes it's been a 11 years since we've been there, and and um, that pressure is put upon these 20 kids, and and it's really not they can't control the past, and and we just tried to stay focused um, on what we were doing and and go to work. Being a native son, or a little added uh, you know excitement for you in this one, you know, getting breaking through like that again. Yeah, it feels good. I mean, it, I don't know if it's sunk in yet, but it definitely feels good. Guys look pretty excited. They're hanging, yeah. you know, lingering out on the ice, you know, taking pictures. Yeah. You know, you're gonna let them celebrate tonight before we get a well, uh, Savor, savor this and go back to work tomorrow. But at least these seniors have worked, have worked hard. They committed, committed to the program, committed to each other since this day last year when our season ended. And and uh, you know they deserve the credit. They they kind of made the change happen. But uh, defensively. Another shutout for you guys. I mean, it seems like every other game you're posting a shutout. And you admitted to me a couple weeks back, they're a little better than we thought they would be this early, those young guys. Yeah, I mean, we've we've put a major emphasis on how we play defensively in all three zones of the ice, and and uh, you know, I think that showed tonight, especially in the third period. Um, you know, they didn't get a whole lot of looks. Did you do something different uh, this time than the last time you faced them? I know it was a four-four tie up there. And they yeah, got, they got some offense against you. Which not, not really. I, I mean, we just we didn't do anything different. We just did it better, um, you know. And part of that's up there. You play an Olympic rink, and and that's a change. But but we were ready to go from the start. A little 
sigh of relief when, when Tommy's uh, slap shot got into the top shelf there on the, in the second period? Yeah, you, you could you could get the sense that it was going to be a, a one nothing two one type of hockey game. So that first one's definitely key. Now uh, I imagine we're going to see a lot of green down in the state tournament up in the stands too. You're expecting a pretty good following, you know. It, when a town does, you know, it's been a decade or so since you last got down. Everybody gets really excited about this. I think you'd yeah. like to see a lot of people. Yeah. That, that safe to say? Well, I, I would imagine there'll be a lot of green and white down there. How do you? Uh, so how do you refocus the guys now? Get into uh, well, next week? You know, our guys have been pr pretty focused all year long at what we ask of them, and and like I said, I mean, we'll come back to work tomorrow. Um, hopefully, get a good 45 minutes of work in. And, and move on. I mean, we've got a new task at hand now. Did your goals change? I mean, was your first goal to get to the state tournament, or did you still have that long-range, out-there goal of, hey, we want to win it all at the end? Well, we we'll take it one at a time. I mean, we're, uh, even uh, in this three-game section tournament, our goal is one game at a time, one period at a time. Uh, now we just re-attack a new goal of that.